Stevie Cox back there, mine's the gift of gas. <laughs> First Kings, chapter 18. We'll look at two verses of the scripture tonight. Blessing Jesus. Verse 34 and 35. Hope you brought you some walking shoes with you because we're going to take a journey. Yeah. You see your neighbor trying to fall asleep, elbow. Verse 34 reads like this And he said, Do it the second time. And they did it the second time. He said, Do it the third time. They did it the third time. Yeah. And the water ran round about the altar. And he filled the trench also. Amen. Did you catch that? Yeah. How many times you heard this message preached and they say, boy, they dumped that water upon that sacrifice and that water ran off there and filled that trench. I've heard it preached like that numerous times. Yeah. Look at it. Said he filled the trench with water. Amen. All right. Amen. Amen. Woo! Mercy. Yes. Do you be saved. Yes. Before we sit down, Stevie, ask the question to go over there. Yes. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord, uh, again, Father, we ask you, Lord, to bless him abundantly. Yes. Lord, the God, the drop from the lips of Christ, yes. Mother. Lord, I just ask you to leave the guys in yes. Father. Lord, feed us tonight, God, yes. that our souls may be fed, Father, in the Word of God. Yes. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 <laughs> Help him, Lord. Help him, Lord. Tonight, with the help of the Lord, I'd like to take you on a journey through the Scripture. Now, according to the Scripture here, this is Elijah. He's challenging the prophets of Baal. Yes. And the prophets of the groves. And the Bible teaches me that he called upon the Lord, God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. Yes. He repaired an altar. He set the stones in the right place. He got the wood and he set it right. right. The Bible teaches me that he took a bullock and he cut it up into pieces. Yes. After he cut it up into pieces, now we're up to Paul. Mm -hmm. He told him, said, go get four barrels of water. Brother Troy, they went and got four barrels of water. He said, do it the second time. Yes. They went and got four more barrels of water. Yes. He done it the right. second time. <laughs> so he told him, said, do it a third time. Right. Yes. Right. Bless you, Lord. You'll catch on to this in a minute. Bless you, Lord. So he done it the third time. Yes. Most of us stop just shy That's of it. where God wants us. That's it. Amen. 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 Sometimes we're right at the brink of a breakthrough yes, and right at the brink of that breakthrough Amen. we want to stop and quit Amen. and give up. Amen. If we sit around, we moan and groan, we cry and pray, why God, why me? Why didn't I get what I needed? A free listen. I want you to know something tonight. If you hadn't to stop when you did, the road of your miracle would have been right on your doorstep because God was wanting to show up. Right Hey, listen, though we may have showed up four days late, according to our time schedule, thank God he was still right on time. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes. Some of us get them showers of blessings. And the first thought, does anybody got an umbrella? <laughs> Boy, I wish somebody had an umbrella. Next thing you know, yes. I had enough. Just a little bad done me. I, I, I'm good for three weeks. I don't have to go to church for three weeks. Come on. Come on. Hey, I don't know about you, but a little dad don't do this to you. But you know what old God's talk. And I'm going to go. I'm what he's got in me today. People are stuck. Church people. 
people are stuck in a rut because they want to be. I'm just going to go ahead and get comfortable. They stuck in a rut, Brother Chuck, because they want to be stuck now. I never seen anywhere in the blessing book where he told me to stop, right. slow down, or quit. Bless you, Lord. Huh? Come on. So now, when it comes time, you're reaching over into the water. <laughs> now, according to Scripture, the water is symbolic too. Yes. Yes. To who? Yes. Call him what he is. He's the Holy Ghost. Yes. Call him? Yes. Yeah. Yes. He's a me. Yes. Yes. The third part of the triune Godhead. Yes. 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 People get a little touch of that water. Get their feet a little wet. Well, they're satisfied. Mm -hmm. Then they get that mentality. They'll come in, Sister Bad, and they'll sit down. That's true. God move me if you can. Uh -huh. Well, let me tell you something. If you wait on him to get a stick of dynamite and set it under your, your rear end and light it, let it pop you off your seat, you'll wait till eternity rolls over. Yeah. And then you got them. They said, well, that felt good. It tasted good. Huh? Yes. It tasted good. Well, I'm not quite satisfied. So, Sister Sheila, this is what they do. They say, I'm going to get a little bit, a little bit closer. So, you see, it's like to make this piano make a sound, you got to turn it off. Would you turn it on for me? Because I don't know how. <laughs> right. That's it. Never mind. That's it. How can make a noise? <laughs> to make that symbol make a noise, <laughs> you've got to do something to make yeah, it yeah. sing. Yeah. 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 Wow. To get God's attention, sometimes you're going to have to do something. Yeah. So then, Bless you. hey, it's not very loud, is it? That's right. Are they worried? Uh -huh. Well, I wonder what my neighbor's going to say. Yeah. I told my wife, coming back over here, I said, that fella testified about the dog, the cat, the chicken, blessed my heart to the point it was overflowing. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? Jesus Christ will make a change in your life. Yeah. Yeah. So you get ten that that really starting to get a little hungry. You know, the Bible says, He the hunger of the third sake of righteousness yeah. shall what? Be fed. Yeah. What are you going to be filled with? Well, you ain't going to be filled with the things of this world. No. Yeah. Yeah. So, the truth. They get a little bit loud. Yeah. Do it the first time. Yeah. Do it the second time. Yeah. If you ain't got nothing yet. Uh, there you go. I want a third time. Yeah. Thank you. See, the Bible teaches me that he dug a trench all about that all. Yeah. yeah. All about it. All the way around. Yeah. So he dug a trench. Yeah. Maybe, just maybe, you didn't get what you needed when you was raining. You're right. Yeah. Maybe. Just maybe. Now I know I'm probably the only person that had to go through this. Maybe you don't need to just. Uh oh. Hit the drum. Hit the drum. I'm scared. I'll put your thing back in a minute. That's all right. About a medium size. Amen. Yes, yeah. But they want people want to stop. Right. Yes, sir. Yes. Come on. Let's get it. Persistence pays off yes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes. Yes, sometimes you just need it.
I said, Told you you better have your walking shoes on. <laughs> then, they give them a little dose of it. See, I have a saying. Some people, all they need is a good dose of the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And then Peter talked about there will be times of refreshing. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody remember that? Yeah. So he said there'd be times. Yeah. Sometimes when you don't let the gift come on, come on. Oh my! Yes, if you don't let come on somebody, you better help me. I'm preaching it anyway. If you don't let the gift, Sister Brenda, get stirred up. It's like an old whale. If you don't use it, it'll get stagnant. Ezekiel and Ezekiel 47. Ah. He said, they, ooh, God, I say, he said, they, the man brought me to some water. Yes, he did. Would you walk with me, brother? Yeah. I know you probably don't feel like it. And I want you to walk with me. Yes, he did. So, so he got out in the water. Ah. He measured it out. Yeah. Go ahead and go into some water. Yeah. And then he stopped. And he said that water was about mine. Amen. Yes. Look at that lady over that lady, y'all. Come here. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Stay right down. Then, you're going to have to turn and look that way. He got him on other measure. Mm -hmm. And she said, wait a minute. Walk with me. Praise God. All right. Then he said, I was in the water yes. about my knees. Yes. Yes. Come here, Steve. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> and then he gave him another measurement. See, right. yeah. And then he waited out a little further. Yeah. The Bible says that when he came, he was about his Lord. Yeah. Mm. He was a valley slow. Yeah. Hey, he took another measurement. Yeah. Come here, Chuck. Come out of there. That's right. Oh. It's already over by Yeah. He took a valley slow. Yeah. And he took another measurement. Yeah. But you're not fine when he waited out no further. Yeah. And when he looked out, brother, he seen the vision. Yes, he did. He seen the vision. Yeah. That it was yeah. a river yeah. that he could not pass yeah. over. Yeah. yeah. They said, Jay, you got some old religious hypocrites. Says, One of the Lord said, <laughs> I'm supposed to stay at thee. Bless it, Lord. The seed. The salvation of the Lord. <laughs> but he didn't say you stand there for your life. He said, you have done all. That's exactly right. When you've done all to stand, Paul said it. He said, stand there for it. What do you say, preacher? He's not talking about standing still. 
He talking about stand your ground. Yeah. 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 Too many people of church. I'm talking about church people. I ain't talking about saved people. Huh? Church people make God sick. Huh? Yeah. Church people make God sick. Then that are born again will do the will of the Father. Yeah. I bet you ain't heard a preacher say that one yet. <laughs> you think, let me tell you something, church. You think some old religious hypocrite make God smile in the eye? Right. Uh. Right. One of the biggest things he mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that Paul was a nail on the mom was hypocrisy mm -hmm. and apostasy. Yeah. Right. God sent Paul with some letters. We call them epistles. Right. I can just see Jesus giving him the disposition of the gospel of grace, man. Yeah. I believe he had an encounter with Jesus. Yes. Some words on the back side of a desert yes, somewhere. Sir. Yes, sir. I believe he talked to him man to man. Yes, sir. Brother Dale, you done lost your mind. Maybe you just need to study a little deeper. Yes, sir. Yeah. Come on. Huh? Sometimes they stuck on page one. Yeah. All hell the power. Mm -hmm. <coughs> when it should have come on over, I don't know what page is on in this one. I'll fly away. That's right. Come on. Well, maybe they should have looked a little bit further. Yeah. And got plants. Stretched the skin salvation. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> maybe they should have just let Jesus save them to the bone. Yeah. 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 Oh, 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 Paul. How'd you see? As the Lord's given him everything you need. Yes. And I can just say and say, Lord, you know, I got a thorn in the flesh. Uh -huh. It hurts me. Yes, sir. Help me it's a thorn. Yes. Anybody ever have a thorn in them? Yes. Boy, them things hurt. Yes, sir. Especially if you get a locust thorn. Yes, Chances are when you pull it out, yes. just a little tip of it will break off. Yes. That thing will turn blood red. <laughs> It'll start getting infected. It'll fester up and you can dig and dig and dig with a needle. It seems like you can't get it out of there. I can just see the Lord looking at Paul. He said, no, that thing. Yeah. I don't know that thing, but that Paul. It hurt real bad. That's right. My brain. Lord. Yeah. It's a business for you. Yeah. I can see you saying that. Lord. Saying, though you're weak, yeah. I'll make you strong. Yeah. Though you seem like you can't walk another mile, I'm gonna help you. Yeah. That's all right. Yeah. Now, God, yeah. 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 sometimes you just gotta quit leaning on your own understanding yeah. and put your trust and faith in yeah. Jesus Christ, yeah. the King of Glory. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Oh. In my opinion, the greatest apostle of all. <laughs> Some of you may disagree. Had a bunch of Baptist folk that had just shouted. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you this. That man delivered some of the greatest writing to the yes, church. Yes. Yes. He'll, hey, let me tell you right. something. He, this, you'll not see none of the other apostles say this. He said, you follow me. As I follow Christ. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, good God Almighty. Listen. Hey, wouldn't you want to be so close? Yes. You could look at your neighbors yes. and you could say, Troy, follow me yes. as I follow Christ. Amen. Or you could look over at this brother and say, follow me as I follow Christ. Yes. A friend, I'll just be honest with you. The church ain't measured up. That's right. Amen. 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 Help us, Lord. Well, yes, sir. You say, Brother Dale, I'm trying my best. That's good. <laughs> Don't quit doing it, though. Right. right. Well, I slip up and say something bad and think something bad. So what? Mm -hmm. Get over your.
yourself. That's right. You've been redeemed. Amen. Paul said this. When I was a child, I spared. Yes, sir. to stay still, brother. Right. <laughs> then you got some religious hypocrites saying, well, for everything under the sun, there's a season. <laughs> it don't mean it lasts for an eternity. <laughs> well, they're still stuck on row, row, row your boat, gently down a string. Some of us are singing, I'm going to take a trip right. on that good old gospel trip. Right. I'm going to party on the sky. Yes, well, well, I'm going to shout that trip until the heaven. Yeah. Well, I'm going to get in the old good yeah. 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 Then you got somebody going, far I'm talking about the difference between the child of God and religious yeah. hypocrites. Yeah. You got the child of God saying, There's power, power, what yeah. working. Yeah. Yeah. Understand. 
You don't understand. You just don't know. I don't care. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I don't need to know your problem. That's right. Come on. You think I can fix them? I ain't got that much duct tape. Come on. I don't have that much Elmer glue either. That's right. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. You need to take your problem not to your pastor. Come on. Come on. You need to take your problem to the problem solver. Come on. Come on. Come on. His name is J-E-S-U-S. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Jesus. Yeah. 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 Glory. Yeah. Glory. Yeah. See, I know a man who came. Yeah. Yeah. Dale Darrell came. Yeah. Come on. Come on. I ain't that good. Yeah. If you want somebody to really fix your problem, it's a preacher called Troy. Yeah. He did it. I ain't. Uh, call Stevie Cox. Call Steve Hayes. Call that other fella back here. What's your name? Jay. Call Jay. They help you to Jesus too. Because listen, I hope and pray that people can look at my life and have confidence. Yes, yes. But I can't fix your problem. I can't turn your situation around. I'll tell you what I can do, brother. I can take you down to an old-fashioned altar prayer. I can kneel down with you, prayer, and we'll sing the best. I can take you to the grave of the water. Let me come to you to hide in. Somebody talking about that? I can follow you all the way to the point of the river. But when it comes time for you to cross that river, you better have your hand in his unchanging hand if you ain't going to make it. So then you got what was he killed? As he sees this vision, so now he's up there. And he's talking to God. He's saying, Lord, I can't even pass over these waters. Uh -huh. They're just too deep. Yes. Boy, wouldn't that be something? Yeah. To get that close to God. Come on. Uh -huh. <laughs> Listen, yeah. Are you paying attention, church? Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Want me to break your heart? Yeah. You're not there because you don't want to be. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's That's right. That's it. Come on. Preach That's it. Right. That's That's it. And you know what? I ain't even a prophet. And I can tell you that one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Wasn't even operating to get the prophecy, man. I had no common sense to know that. Mm -hmm. Come on. Wow. When he said, come ye out from amongst them, yes, he yeah. said what he meant, uh, and he right. meant what he yeah. said. Yeah. Yeah. He said to be ye holy, yeah. he that would be called yeah. yeah. holy, yeah. he said what yeah. he meant, yeah. and he meant what he said. Yeah. And I said, if he told you and commanded you yeah. to live a holy, to all oh, consecrated, sanctified, yeah. and yeah. after him, he said yeah. what he meant, yeah. and he meant what he said. Then you got somebody saying, Well, I don't want to get into all that stuff. Chances are, I know Beth, you might want to leave churches. Yeah. Because she's going to preach it the same way. Right. I'm going to tell you something. God still has people yeah. that will listen and obey His voice. Amen. Come on. Amen. He's still got a people, brother. I remember what you said Monday night. You said He speaks to me. Yeah. You remember saying that it was right there at the third pew. You yeah. probably thought I wasn't paying attention, didn't you? Mm. And he said, My heart leaked in my chest. I said, Boy, yeah. he ain't the only one here. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. No, sir, buddy, listen. Thank you, Lord. I know God speaks to me. Yeah. Thank Thank you, Lord. I know his voice. Thank and you. his sheep won't follow no other. Yeah. He'll never leave me to struggle. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. You say, well, God told me to go to the bar. No, he didn't. Don't you lie on him like that. That's right. That's right. You listen to your face and you showed up there to get drunk. That's right. 
God told me to go down to the whoremonger's house. No, he did not. Yes, you went there because you wanted to have fornication and adultery in your life. Yeah. Yeah. God told me to call you up and tell you what this and say it. And that one said, no, he did not. You liar. Right. You've done it because you're full of gossip and backbiting. Yeah. Hey, no wonder you can't get in the waters over your head. Yeah. Don't you still be a sinner? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to get trouble. Bless the Lord. You practice a life of sin, you are a sinner. Amen. Amen. I'll tell you that, brother. If you yeah, practice the law, I'll see your sin to the heart. Yes, yeah. You ain't even safe. Your name's not in the book of life. There you go. That's the truth. Come on. If you live in a Christian life, you're going to be Christ like. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. You'll be Christ like. Yeah. You'll be living for Him, walking with Him. Yeah. You'll act like Him. Thank You'll you. talk like yeah. Him. Yeah. You'll smell like Him. Yeah. 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 Thank you. I'm going to, hey, I know I ain't got to come back tomorrow, so I'm going to put it all out on the line tonight. Come on. God wants his people to be ready when his son shows up. Yes, Let me tell you something. These people that know of him, right. Right. you listen. Right. This is checkup time. Mm -hmm. They people that know of him. Right. How many people know him? Uh, I know him, I know him, I know him. Everybody going to throw their hand up. I know him. <laughs> if you had to go for a spiritual physical, <laughs> would you pass? Come on. Would you pass your spiritual physical? Or would he have to take it? You fail. Yeah. You didn't measure up. Yeah, yeah. You've been weighed in a balance. Yeah, come on. You've been a fine woman. That's right. Uh -oh. Come on. Brother Dale, don't go there too late, Dundee. Yeah, come on. Come on. Come on. Hey, if the scale come in your life yeah. don't measure up to his standard, yeah. you'll hear this. Yeah. Depart from me. Right. Right. Yeah. I don't know. That's right. Right. Paul, but I healed the sick. Mm -hmm. Yeah, listen. I cleansed the leper. Yeah. Well, why even yeah. cast it out demons? Come on. Come on. Preach it. You know what I can just see? With a tear in his eye right. and a grin on his face. I still don't know. Yeah. yeah. Come on. Broke right. his heart. Broke his heart. Yeah. Knowing that he went to the cross. Uh -huh. Shed his blood. That you could have made. That's right. Made him dream when you sit back and thought you could practice a prophecy. It's still my belief. I can't deny it. The Lord of God. Let me tell you something. I wasn't even going to preach on this, but the Lord has me here, so I'm going to stick here with it for a minute. Yeah. You can't live for God Wednesday and Sunday and live like hell on the outside. Come on. Come on. You'll never make it in. You can't shout hallelujah, glory to God here and cuss at your house and make it in. You'll never see the city of God. Hey, if you didn't get changed at the altar, you got short changed. Jesus Christ to bring a change in your life. Yes, he will. So, there we go. One more time. Uh -huh. I can just see old Elijah. Oh, God, hear me now. Yes. I'm talking to you. Show these ignorant people that you're God. Because you know they got to be stupid. Yeah. They hollering for a dead God all day. Right. Uh, Come on, preach it. Sometime, just within a few seconds after that, yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. God answered. Yes, sir. Come on. Sure did. Yes, 
tonight that God prepared the way for you so that you can get to where he's at. Right. Yeah. Amen. Glory. Praise your name. Thank you, Lord. Bless your name. Thank you, Lord. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Meet the need. Meet the need, Father. Meet the need. Meet the need. Hallelujah. Yes, the name. Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Thank you, Lord. you really going to thank God the lost in just a minute. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Somebody pray for God tonight. Hallelujah. Well, don't be afraid to. Right. What my neighbor says. Listen, if they're going to talk about you, they're going to do it regardless whether you are being God. You see, meet the need we A lot of you don't even know me that's here tonight. Meet the need. They tell me I'm crazy. They're right. Yeah. <laughs> they are. They're right. They're right. They're crazy for Jesus. Yeah. 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 Amen. They call yeah. me a nut. Thank you, Lord. Right Thank you, Lord. Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Right <laughs> you know, they even told me I've lost my mind. Hey, I get my older, babe. Hold that for me. <laughs> now, somebody said that older just ain't close enough for them in their heart. <laughs> but guess what? It's close enough now. Come on. Now, you ain't got no excuse. That's right. What do you need from God tonight, church? That's right. He just beat me up the altar. Yeah. What do you need from God tonight? He just beat me up the altar. What do you need from God tonight? He just beat me up the altar. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes, you will. Come on. I've had to, I've had to fight with that bugger for 16 years. Huh? Ain't been time, yes. brother Troy. Boy, he's hitting me in the very back and knocked the wind blow me. And I'm sitting there wondering, why in the world? Why in the 